What is up, Pokemon people? This is Michael Sean from Unison Games coming at you with a new type of video. See, with all the stuff being canceled for coronavirus until August, we were not sure whether or not we were getting a rotation this year. And the Pokemon company just went ahead and spoiled that there will be a rotation happening in August. And so if you guys didn't catch my announcement, Trainer on the Road video about that, I'll link that in the description. But here are the sets that are going to be legal for uh, the 2020 to 2021 season. We can see that it is starting with Team Up. And so we're losing um, some sets to this rotation, obviously, the first one being Ultra Prism. And so I'm coming at you with this video, top 10 cards we will miss from Ultra Prism. Now, before I get into it, I need to make a statement about how I figured out this list. Now, this is not the top 10 cards that are the best from Ultra Prism. There are tons of videos out there about that. That's not what this set is about. These are the top 10 cards that we will miss in our current format, moving into our next format right now. So, um, some for instances that's not on this list is like Magnezone. Magnezone was an amazing card in Ultra Prism. It's not on this list because it hasn't seen play in a long time. Great card, amazing for when it came out, not on the list because we're not really going to miss it right now unless you were a huge Magnezone fan. So let's go ahead and get in some honorable mentions. The first one is uh, perfect about talking about right after Magnezone. This is Duskmane Necrozma GX. This was the big GX coming out of Ultra Prism. And I think the big attack that we want to look at here is three metal and a colorless. You got Meteor Tempest for 220. You discard three energies from this. Of course, in this set, we had a stadium that got metal energy back from the discard pile. And Magnezone, which let you attach as many metal energy as you wanted to from your hand. This was an amazing card. It did very, very well at tournaments, and it kind of ruled the format for uh, when Ultra Prism first got released. So we had to talk about it. It is a fine metal Pokemon. The Power Creep has kind of left this card behind a little bit, but it is really great. Got to mention it. Uh, here's another honorable mention, Dark Rye Prism. The reason this didn't make the list is because it's really only good in Dark Box. Um, and it's good in Dark Box because of its ability, Nightmare Star. When you play this from hand to your bench, you may attach two Darkness energy from your hand to it. Very good energy acceleration, but like I said, only good for Dark Box, so it's an honorable mention. Also, my uh, probably most missed card from Ultra Prism is Pachirisu. I love the Nuzzle deck. It is my uh, favorite deck to play as far as like conceptually is concerned. I like a lot of other decks too. But uh, we're losing Snuggly Generator, which was one of the engines of the deck. Basically, for one lightning energy, you just get to put energy on all your bench Pokemon that have the attack called Nuzzle. And so uh, we're definitely going to miss that. But let's get into our top 10 proper list. Number 10, we have Glaceon GX. His Pokemon was really great. It was much better when Ultra Prism was a format at first because of the Energy Evolution Eevee still being in format, so you could evolve up to this. As soon as you had an Eevee, you could first turn Freeze and Gaze with this thing, but I think this card is still really good. I think it is something that we're going to miss because of its ability, ability Freeze and Game, which Gaze, which says, as long as this is your active Pokemon, your opponent's Pokemon GX and EX have no abilities besides Freezing Gaze. You got to remember that when this thing first came out, Zoroark GX was the best deck in the format. This thing is great against Zoroark, but it's also great against a lot of other things that we still have in our format. And so I do think that this is a card that we'll miss. In at number nine, we have Silvali GX or Silvali, if you prefer. Um, two things are great about this card. Its ability, Gyro Unit, says your basic Pokemon in play have no retreat cost. Very, very nice. And then for three colorless, you got Turbo Drive for 120. You can attach a basic energy from your discard pile to one of your benched Pokemon. Uh, the thing that was cool about this really was you could partner it with memories to make it hit weakness on stuff. Um, and 120 was a great number to be hitting for a long time. You may remember our friend Pikaram, who actually still will be legal post-rotation, but loses a lot of support. Um, and uh, 120 doubled for weakness will get a knockout on that. And so um, not a bad Pokemon. It's the fact that you can give all your basics no retreat is pretty cool. Um, side note, this is a great tech against Milotic, which is a card that's coming out uh, pretty soon in Rebel Clash. So, uh, yeah, Savali, Savali, really great card. I like it a lot, um, but we are going to be saying goodbye to it in this. In at number eight, Super Boost Energy. This provides colorless energy, or if it's attached to a stage two, it is like a rainbow energy. It provides one of any type of energy. And if you have three or more stage twos, 
in play, this provides four energies at a time, which is insane. Super, super good. Um, but it's only good for stage two decks, and stage two decks are not that popular. And so it comes in at number eight. Otherwise, I'd put this thing high because this thing is amazing. Um, even just its first effect, or I guess its second effect technically, that it provides a rainbow energy for a stage two is amazing because there's no downside. You don't get a damage counter. You don't have to discard a card like with Aurora Energy that we have now from Sword and Shield. Uh, really, really good card, but it's only good for stage twos. And now we have to say goodbye to it with the rotation. Coming in at number seven, we have Mars. Mars says, draw two cards, and if you do, discard a random card from your opponent's hand. If you've ever played against decks like Pidgeotto Control, or maybe even Chinchino Mill, um, you have probably seen this card and gotten totally screwed by this card because it's super good. It draws you two cards, which admittedly for a draw card is not that good, but the fact that you just get to discard a random card from your opponent's hand is so strong because you're usually operating on a low hand size if you're playing against control um, because they keep taking away your resource and you keep having to play them back down or maybe they're playing reset stamps or whatever. I mean, this could this could get rid of your whole hand if you only have one card. Um, I really like it. Also, this full art is beautiful, um, but I think it's a great card. We are losing it. It's still good and expanded, though, so we, we're not too sad about it, but it is a card that we're losing to the rotation. It is our number seven. Going to number six, though, we have Lily. Lily is a card that is amazing, plus this full art is ridiculous. Like, whoever did the artwork on this is amazing. Like, it's so good. But this card says, draw until you have six cards in hand. If it's your first turn, draw until you have eight cards in hand. Now, let me tell you why this is all the way down at number six instead of being higher, because the effect sounds really good. But the reason is, is when we got our Sword and Shield set, we ha also got the new supporter rule that says that you cannot play a supporter your first turn if you go first. And obviously, Lily got 50% worse from that uh, rule change because now I can't play this on my first turn. Maybe not 50% worse because it still draws you to six cards if it's not your first turn. But we definitely don't like the fact that we cannot play this turn one. It, 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 it has not seen a ton of play um, post Sword and Shield for that reason, but it is still an amazing card. It had a fantastic run, and we've actually, uh, it survived its original rotation. This was printed in Sword and Shield. They reprinted it in Ultra Prism, which let us keep it for an extra rotation, and we're really happy that we did because a lot of decks used this card, and it was amazing, and it's a beautiful full art. So that's our number six, Lily. Number five is Unit Energy, uh, GFW and LPW, which is uh, Grass, Fire, Water, and Lightning, Psychic, metal so these cards they, now some people may be like oh man this is way too high for these but i think the reason i put them so high is because these are actually the unit energies that see play so the first unit energy with grass fire water sees play simply because fire decks are huge right now um but the biggest deck that uses this right now is ultimate mewtwo which is a great great deck that uses a bunch of of, uh, of different types of Pokemon, and then a bunch of Rainbow Energy, Aurora Energy, and having this unit energy, this is usually a two of in that deck, having this um, really copies almost every single Pokemon that you would have in your discard pile can be copied with this, and this is no downside, like discarding card, which admittedly is good in Mewtwo, or uh, placing a damage counter. I really like this card, but I don't even like it quite as much as Lightning, Psychic, and Metal. This card is amazing in uh, several decks. Uh, the first deck I think that this deck is amazing is, is Pikaram, because you like playing Guzman Hala on your first turns. I love Guzman Hala in Pikaram. It's amazing. It gets you a Thunder Mountain, and it gets you in a skateboard to maybe get out of the active with whatever's in there. And uh, this card will help you get to your first turn full blitz, because you can search it off of Guzman Hala on like a basic energy. The second thing I like this in is Malamar or Malamu because you can have that metal energy to play Ultra Necrozma, but it's also a psychic energy when you don't want to be playing Ultra Necrozma. So I, I actually think that Lightning Psychic Metal is very, very good, and I know I am definitely going to be missing it in those uh, perspective decks. Um, so yeah, Unit Energy, GFW, and LPW. Are, uh, are, and that should be LPM. I did a little dyslexic thing there. Um, L, uh, GFW and LPM unit energies are definitely two that I personally will be missing, and I think a lot of other players are going to be missing them as well. All right, moving on to number four, we have 
Orin Guru, or if you prefer a Ranguru. Uh, this card is amazing. It's so good. And it's just an uncommon, but it's at number four. And uh, a lot of people are really happy to see this card go. However, I think that control is super cool. It is just as viable as any other playstyle. And if you are watching this video and you like control, leave that in the comment section because I don't like how some people in Pokemon don't like control. It actually makes me really upset because I love control and it takes a lot of skill to play. So here we go for one colorless. This is a huge thing with control, resource management. Put three cards from your discard pile on the bottom of your deck in any order. Here's what you do with this thing. You put Oranguru active. You, Bilalba and Bryson Man, mill both decks. You go to zero cards because you've been drawn through your deck so much because you're playing control. And then you just Oranguru to put three cards into your deck. And you get to put them in any order, which means you just get to pick what you draw next turn. Uh, this card's amazing. Uh, control is taking a serious hit with Oranguru. Also, we talked about Mars earlier as well. There are other decks that they're losing as well, but I think Oranguru is the big one. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm sad. You know, I, I really wanted to be playing Chinchino Control, and now I don't think that that deck is going to be nearly as viable without Oranguru. So, um, oh well, right? We're losing Oranguru. Very good. It's number four on our list. Moving on to number three, is Volkner. Search for an item card and a lightning energy and add them to your hand. I love Volkner. So, so good. I played around with a lot of lightning decks since uh, Ultra Prism has come out, and uh, Volkner is in almost every single one of them, if not every single one of them. This card is great. Also, the full art is really, really good. So, um, the ability to search for an item card is always good because there's almost no item search in the game. It's hard to search for items. That's one of the points of items. It's why we can play a bunch of item cards and not a bunch of supporter cards because items are generally, I mean, they almost, they don't have a lot of downsides to them. And so the game is designed to make them harder to search out. Well, Volkner fixes that by searching out an item I can't even tell you how many times Volkner has facilitated uh, me getting in a Molga in Nuzzle or getting, you know, that extra energy that I needed in Pikaram or getting a Stadium Nav in Pikaram or, or you, you name it, you know, getting a Nest Ball with it when Zapdos and Jirachi were a thing. Wh whatever deck used this, they, it was kind of one of those, like, crutch cards that really helped the deck function. So it definitely will be a huge loss for the Lightning arc, arc, uh, archetype. And uh, we're, we're, this will definitely be a card that sees some play in standard or in uh, expanded, though, because it's that good. So it comes in at number three. Moving on to number two, we have Cynthia. Cynthia may be one that was on the top of your list, but I actually think that Cynthia has fallen a little bit out of favor now that we have um, Professor's Research, because Professor's Research is just more aggressive. But Cynthia is still an amazing card. Shuffle your hand in your deck. Then draw six cards. Also, I threw up the shiny version of it, uh, which I think is better than the other full art, but both full arts are amazing. But uh, Garchomp is amazing. So there we go. Um, but anyway, this card's so good because it lets you draw more cards without having to get rid of the resources that you have in your current hand. Now, the drawback to that is if you have a crappy hand, you have full potential to drawing into almost the exact same hand because you are putting those pieces back into your deck. Um, but I think it's worth that because take Malamar, for instance. It's nice in Malamar to not have to discard two Malamars or three Malamars to a hand. Instead, just Cynthia them away and then potentially draw more cards uh, to get them. I really, really like this card. I do think that it gets put out, though, both actually by Professor's Research and then also by Marnie, because Marnie gets you one less card, but it also puts the stuff that you have in your hand on the bottom of your deck. But sometimes you want to redraw one or two of the cards that are in your hand anyway. So um, I really like Cynthia. It's definitely, uh, we're definitely sad to see it go. We've had it for a very long time, and it's been uh, one of the most played cards in our format since then, which is why it comes in at number two. But for number one, and I think that this is something that is a serious loss for us. I think a lot of people are going to be impacted by this. In fact, I was just having a conversation with Winter from Team Metroflex about this card uh, just before recording this video. And that is our number one card, which is Escape Board. 
This card says the retreat co the retreat cost of this Pokemon is one colorless less, and it can retreat even if it's asleep or paralyzed. Face value, this card looks like whatever, like who cares? But the re the fact is, all of us are playing Jirachi. I feel like at least 75%, if not more, decks are playing Jirachi. It's probably more like 80 85 percent of all decks are playing jirachi and they're not just playing one jirachi they're playing jirachi in high counts three to four copies of the card because it is that powerful of a card especially to start with every single deck maybe I, i'm going to say that and then somebody's gonna be like well i play this deck without it but almost every single deck if not every single deck plays at least a copy of a skateboard when they play jirachi because jirachi's ability says look at the top five cards of your deck pick out a trainer, and then Jirachi goes to sleep. Well, we don't want Jirachi left in the active, so we attach an escape board. It has one retreat cost. We just pull Jirachi back with the skateboard and then go to town with whatever uh, Pokemon we just powered up for having uh, for with that item card that we got. So amazing, amazing card. It sees play in almost every deck. We're definitely going to miss it, and we're going to have to figure out some other way to play Jirachi because the Jirachi is still... A fantastic card. There has to be a better way, or maybe not a better way. There's definitely not a better way to play it, but there has to be another way to play it. It will not leave the format um, now that its partner, a skateboard, is gone, but it will be significantly more awkward to play Jirachi because a skateboard is rotating. So that is the top 10 list. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to hit up the comments with what cards are you the most disappointed to lose from Ultra Prism? And so uh, be sure to like this video, subscribe, and leave me a comment. Leave me that comment with what card you think you'll be missing the most. If your list would be totally different than mine, if you feel like I left a card out of this list, go ahead and put it in the comment section. We would love to hear your opinions as well. Also, let us know what are you going to be playing instead of playing a skateboard for Jirachi. Um, I have some ideas, but I want to hear your ideas. What ways are you going to fix that now that we'll be losing a skateboard but until next time i will be bringing you another video tomorrow with uh forbidden light and then another one with celestial storm then another one with dragon majesty and then another one with lost thunder so definitely stay tuned make sure you subscribe make sure you ring that bell so that you can be notified when those videos drop and of course check out all of our other videos on the unison games page we got a lot of content coming out especially this week. So I will see you guys soon. And until then, keep doing your Pokemon thing.